yeah 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 so i gotta film some more part two of my prayer against the wicked white witch over all your power you wicked white witch the name of jesus is more powerful the name of Jesus is more powerful over all the power of the white woman over the earth the name of Jesus is more powerful the name of Jesus is more powerful. And I'm just actually sitting down. I was charging my phone, but the Satan just started running around acting crazy and coming outside looking up at the sky. And I was like, well, it is going down out here. Why don't I film it? I love you, Jehovah. I love you, Jesus. That's all I say. That I want my son to lift his hands up to you. And I want my son to return to me so that we can serve the Lord our God. And God said that he better be alive. And that's what I pray for. There is no rain. It might rain in a little while, but it's been thundering uh, for a while. And it's 11.19, so I made the part one at 9.24, 9.25. So this has been happening for two hours, and um, he's been pretty much just guarding me, and they have been fleeing, and I don't know why they were fleeing, because if it was just a regular thunderstorm or whatever, why are you running? And I asked Jehovah several times to show me if it was him. And he showed me that it was. So they're still running around um, trying to do the wickedness to me. But they are fleeing from his presence. So I'm just sitting here um, with my book bag and everything. And uh, I was just thinking about them, the little plot to leave me outside and to pay me out as this prostitute drug addict. And they had a man smoking weed in my face. And like I prayed over everything already. So I don't have to keep doing it. He heard me. I asked for his deliverance. I said, Joel, please deliver me. And you know, I don't want to keep. <laughs> excuse me <coughs> I'm just getting really emotional choked up actually and I do not want to keep praying the same prayers because it makes me feel lack of faith I already prayed them but I wanted you all to know what I prayed for but I already told y'all everything they've been doing and I'm telling the truth so if you've been following me or you go through my videos then you'll see and I know that Jehovah's name carries so much power. Jesus, the name of Jesus is more powerful than everything that they're trying to do. And as long as I, I got his name and I'm telling y'all that they're Satanist, then that pretty much sums up everything because you know what all comes in his kingdom. The drugs, the filth, you know, just the abominable things and the lies. And I'm tired, you know, and they're bothering me anywhere that I find to sleep. And I'm encouraged. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory. During the test, I 
remember that song. <laughs> so I guess I just got to stay encouraged. But I'm, I'm a little afraid. I'm not going to lie. But I just feel so protected by him, you know. But they run around doing so much wickedness to me that the times that he does cause destruction, I'll be safe and sound. Like, I remember Cynthia had me and my son come to her house during a hurricane. And I asked God to destroy them. And God, please protect my son because they want to retaliate against me because I asked God to destroy them. They were pulling these racist, wicked operations on me and my son while Austin was in prison. And I didn't really know what they were doing. But now that I'm out of the jail after I shot him, I pretty much know that's what they were doing to us anyway, even when I did not shoot him, he was in prison. And they were still doing the racist operations on me with black people and Hispanics all in the neighborhood. And I didn't know what was going on. They the reason why I went and bought the gun in the first place. I bought a 380 uh, from Academy, and I had my son in the basket riding him through the store, and the black man tried not to sell me the gun, and I, he ta- he said that they didn't have that one, but I was like, okay, well, I'll buy a bigger one then, and then he was like, oh, no, I got that one, so he finally got the gun, and the white man tried to sell me some test target bullets, and I was like, uh-uh, I said, because if I got to shoot somebody, I want to make sure they don't get back up and I bought some special bullets I didn't have no intentions of shooting my baby daddy they was the ones doing racist stuff to me all up in my house for Cynthia Overa and God had told me she was a witch and not to talk to her so Cynthia she she's just a very wicked person I'm a just she's a witch she's a witch I don't even know how to even start. (laughs) I don't even know how to even start. And it makes me so afraid for my baby with these folks. I just lost my whole track of mind because they were doing this racist stuff to me. Um, And in my home with my little baby boy, I didn't even know what was going on. But now I know what they were doing. They was trying to kill me up in my home. And they was doing it all together, like following me. And, you know, and I asked God after I had got a job at JCPenney. And I was working in the home department. And it's supposed to pay me like $10 an hour, $9, $10 an hour. And, you know, part-time job. Austin was in prison. You know, first-time mom. And... You know, I was about to put Austin on child support uh, through the state because they were saying they'll help me get some rent and stuff, you know, so I can get independent from Cynthia. I think they call it temporary assistance for needy families, and then they help with, like, some rent stuff. And I had consorted with Cynthia and said, Cynthia, I'm going to have to file to put Austin on child support while he's in prison because... I need to be independent raising my child because her and Joseph was basically paying my rent and I needed to be independent from them. And she was like, oh no, she was like, I'll pay your rent, don't worry about it. Me and Joseph will pay it. She was like, no, because if you file for child support, then it's going to put Austin in a bad position when he get out of prison, he's not going to pay it. And then he just going to go right back to prison. So I was like, okay, Cynthia, you know, I'll let y'all help me out. But, you know, I really needed to get independent. And on my job, these Illuminati, satanic white women started harassing me on my job and making me cry so bad on my job that I went outside and I started crying and quit my job at JCPenney. And I was screaming in in the car that Cynthia gave me. I was screaming. Um, and I was beating on the steering wheel outside. I didn't even, I was supposed to go on my lunch break and the, the white women had made me cry so bad that I didn't even return back from my lunch break. I was like, well, since they mistreat me so bad, then when they notice that I don't come back from my lunch break and they call me, then I tell them 
I tell them whatever, you know, pretty much. And I was in the car screaming to Jehovah because they was abusing me so bad on the job to where they were trying to make me fight them or get arrested or something on the job. And it's like, I'm not that type of person. I just walk away if you don't want me to have a job so bad. And so I did. And I was crying because I knew I needed to have money for me and my son. And I was doing a great job. And it didn't it didn't make sense for them to be abusing me like that and trying to belittle me and to humiliate me every single moment of my shift. And so I was screaming and beating on the stand wheel and screaming and screaming and screaming. I was like, Jehovah, I was like, Jesus. I was saying Jesus really mostly. And I was like, oh God, oh God, destroy them. And I didn't even really know what I was asking him, but I, cause I wanted to go in there and beat the hell out of them myself. But of course I had my little baby and I don't want nobody hurting me, you know, but they, they hurt me so bad that it make you want to beat them up. And I knew that I could not do that. And I was like, destroy them. And next thing you know, there was a flood. Like, the same night, I had went to pick my baby up early from daycare. And they let my baby get all hurt at the daycare and bust his eye and everything. And all that mistreating me all at the job. And I was like, you know, let me just go get my baby and go home. So I went and got him. And it was the same feeling when I was pregnant with him and bleeding. They tried to still make me work at Taco Bell. And I locked Cynthia up out my house. And I stayed in the house. And I said, ain't nobody finna make me work while I'm bleeding with my child in me. I'm not losing this baby. I'm not going to work. I'm going going to keep this baby even if I got to go to the shelter and I said that with Melby and he survived so with um this second this other job at JC Penny I had just quit the job and went and got my son early and uh we just I went home I asked God to destroy them I went home and I laid down in my bed and I started going to sleep with my son me and my son fell asleep and I kid you not, by evening time, Cynthia was calling me, screaming, because Cynthia was kind of over, she was bullying me, let's just say that. And she was not treating me the way that you should treat a person, let me just say that. I don't even want to go into details, because she's a witch. But anyway, so that night she called me, she was like, it's a hurricane, it's a hurricane. And I was like, okay, because I wasn't afraid of the hurricane. And the reason why I was not afraid of the hurricane was because I had already asked God to destroy them. So if the hurricane came, I didn't give a damn about the hurricane, you know, because I feel like he not going to hurt me. I ain't doing nothing wicked to nobody on this earth. So why would I be afraid? I'm begging for him to bring destruction because of what y'all been doing to me in this country. And I ain't say that to her, but I was just like, no, Cynthia, I'm fine here at my house. She was like, oh no, 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 you, you need to come out here where I'm at. It don't flood out here. And I was like, well, if you really insist, I guess we'll come. So I came out there to her house with my son, and she wanted my son to sleep in Austin old room, and she wanted me to sleep in the living room, but my son was breastfeeding still, and why would I leave my baby by himself in the room in the middle of a thunderstorm? So she, he kept coming and wanting to be on the couch with me, and I asked God to pass over us, and he did. And some black man told that I said what well, God did, and they started trying to kill us in the house after they found out that I asked God to destroy them, and he brought the flood. And that's why I'm scared for my son to be out there knowing how I feel about them, knowing that I'm asking God to punish them, and they keep trying to retaliate on us because they want to be satanic and wicked. And they mad at me because of the flood. Trey Songs was singing the song telling me don't